Hi, welcome to today's broadcast. You're with me, Funke, on Let's Be Real. Today, I want to be real about something I've heard uh, of recently on TV. When I'm not even sure, to be honest, whether it's TV or it was actually on Facebook. And a gentleman was trying to promote his program and saying the program was made for people who are yet to be married. And he went on to explain that because you were yet to be married, that you weren't complete. And that really was hurtful for me. I, I felt that was a bit derogative for um, anybody that's not married. And I didn't think, well, it didn't sit well with me biblically. Just let's be honest, it just didn't sit well with me. Because I know from my scripture, if we look at um, Psalm 139, I think, and I think it's, it's, it's in verse 14. It says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And your works are wonderful and I know that full well. See, I am made and wonderfully in the image of God. And yet, when God created me, he created me on my own. I came to the world on my own, and I would die on my own. So does that mean I'm not complete? Are you telling me Mother Teresa wasn't complete when she died? Are you telling me Paul was not complete when he died? I mean, please, let's be honest. Let's be real. Paul makes us to understand in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Let me quickly go there. It says 1 Corinthians chapter 7. I'll find the place and we can look at it together. I do not appreciate things like this when people come on air and they give information like this, which are not biblically sound. Paul makes us to understand that we don't have to be married. Paul said it's better, in fact, not to be married. So when you come on a, a, a social platform where millions of people are going to hear you, especially young people who are already feeling, oh, I'm yet to be married, my time is going, even the people not so young who are yet to be married, and you're saying that the only way they can be complete is to come to your program. The only way they can be complete is to um, be married, to find a husband or to find a wife, and that's the only time they're complete, well, I'm telling you, according to the word of God, that's not the way it stands. Paul says it is better for you not to be married because then that way you can do what? You can give your time. Okay. <laughs> you can give your time more to the things of God. So when somebody now comes and say, come to this program and I will teach you how you can find your life partner, be it male or female, and how you can be complete because your completeness is finding the other person and being a married person. Well, I stand to differ because according to the word of God, I was made to understand that it is better for me not to be married. And because I'm not married, that doesn't mean I'm not a fulfilled person. Because I'm not married, that doesn't mean I'm not complete. Because I'm not married, that doesn't mean I do not have a goal, a call, or a purpose in my life to be whoever God has created me to be. So please, uh, if you've heard that thing being said before, or you hear, I have people around you telling you that because you're not married, you were not created to be married. You were created to give God glory. You were created to worship God. That is the purpose for which you were created. You were created so that God can have fellowship with you. So in not being married, it does not mean that you're not complete. Your completeness and your wholeness is being in Christ Jesus. Thank you very much for watching. Till I come your way the next time, I say remain blessed.